try and pick up where we had to leave off on the um, video presentation by Sundar Iyer, who is an entrepreneur in California and was targeted by the California Civil Rights Department uh, based on his Hindu heritage and background. So uh, folks, uh, those of you who are getting refreshments, um, as soon as you do, please do come back. And it says we're ready to run that. Dear members of Congress, my name is Sundar Ayer. I'm an Indian American tech entrepreneur and an American citizen. I was the CEO of my Cisco startup and the primary manager named in the Cisco caste discrimination case. I was sued by the California Civil Rights Department, the CRD. The CRD claimed my colleague and I discriminated and harassed their anonymous client, John Doe, because he was a Dalit. What the CRD defines as the lowest untouchable caste in Hinduism. Let me share with you what I have learned about the CRD over the past five sordid years. That it is okay for a government agency to commit over a hundred fraudulent acts to target Hindu and Indian Americans. I only have time to name a few. The CRD sued me for Dalit caste discrimination, despite me having given every top leadership position in my Cisco startup to a different senior Dalit candidate, the same lowest caste as John Doe. The CRD accused me of low pay, despite their client making several million dollars more than me. For I took no equity as the CEO of my startup, giving it all to my employees, including John Doe. The CRD has different rules for Indian American managers. For the CRD frivolously ac accused my Indian American colleague of caste-based harassment by harassing John Doe, my colleague's most grievous crime, that he followed his white boss's orders to ask Doe for weekly status reports. The CRD can lie incessantly, backdate or make up dates, silence defendants, and make up baseless allegations in the last minute, suppress years of HR records, just in order to feign caste discrimination and to target Hindu and Indian Americans. The CRD can even suppress complaints from women engineers, suppress complaints from a white engineer, a Hispanic engineer. They can suppress complaints from an Asian engineer, complaints from junior engineers, senior engineers, and each and every supervisor of John Doe, including my own senior Dalit colleague, just in order to feign caste discrimination and target Hindu and Indian Americans as casteists. I learned that the CRD can attack Hindus and Hinduism, even though I, the primary manager on whom all the allegations are based on, am irreligious. Let me double click on the CRD's logic. The primary manager is irreligious. So let's violate the first amendment and force assign him the Hindu religion, just so that they can attack Hinduism. I learned that the CRD is about the Constitution of the United States. They made over 20 disparaging interpretations of Hinduism, compared Hinduism disfavorably to over at least six different religions, and submitted several book chapters and declarations that paint Hinduism in a bad light. These include defining caste as strictly Hindu, making references to Hindu Varna as rooted in violence, and even references to the complete destruction of Hinduism. I learned that the CRD can treat an entire ethnicity of Hindu and Indian Americans with utter disdain. They violated the due process and constitutional rights of almost 50 of my co-workers, assigning them all upper caste, accusing them of importing the caste system from India to America. And guess what? without ever interviewing them. Let me remind you, 
My colleagues and I are California's primary example of Dalit caste discrimination for having offered every top leadership position in my group to a different senior Dalit colleague. There is no innocent explanation for the CRD's actions. I learned that the CRD can go to the press on the very same day of filing a lawsuit before our fair day in court and fuel a media and activist frenzy while hiding over a hundred despicable actions from the judge, from activists, from state legislatures, from the California Attorney General, from the California Governor Newsom, from Dalit Americans, and you, respected members of Congress. I learned that the CRD is even above the Department of Justice, and they can violate their own DOJ-funded California vs. Hate Charter. How? For I learned that the CRD can platform and work with an openly hateful activist group, Equality Labs, that has made several violent stereotypes of Brahmins, uh, a caste which is a micro-minority in India. Equality Labs, the CRD's main collaborator, has openly said, Nazis are in fucking Germans in Europe. They're actually upper caste Indians. I learned that a civil rights agency can even have national origin bias and even express bigoted views against Hindu and Indian Americans. For the CRD extensively cites a survey by the activist group, which prominently states that if Hindus migrate to other regions of earth, then caste would become a world problem. I learned that a civil rights agency can racially profile and violently stereotype Hindu and Indian Americans. They accused us of assaulting, even raping, 26% of all Dalits in America. That would be give or take about four to maybe 40,000 physical assaults on Dalit Americans. All without a shred of evidence, without any corroboration in existing police records. I learned that the CRD can platform over 20 xenophobic remarks on Indian Americans. First, they casually otherized upper caste Indian Americans as boasting about their biological superiority. The CRD abused us, calling us privileged, dominant, inherently hostile, oppressive, and violent to Dalits. I even learned that the CRD has the right to fuel caste animus amongst Indian Americans with baseless claims. The CRD states that Dalit Indians in the United States, once their caste is revealed, have been raped, attacked, and spat upon simply because their caste was known to an upper caste Indian American. No evidence has been presented for this anecdotal claim. I learned that the CRD can racially target Indian managers and accuse them of being tribal. They accused us of de facto caste discrimination at work. They peddled conspiracy theories of us conniving across companies and sharing information about amongst the lower castes, refusing to see or regard anyone else as our peers, and that it's even okay for a civil rights agency to target an entire minority of Indian managers with comments such as, Life is a living hell under Indian managers, with no supporting evidence whatsoever. I learned that a civil rights agency can make dual loyalty spears on us Indian Americans. The CRD alleged an increase in casteism in America due to the election of Indian Prime Minister Modi. I learned that the CRD considers anonymous, unsupported letters as pieces of evidence against Indian Americans. They platform claims by 30 self-identified Dalit women who anonymously accuse their Indian managers of unspecified casteism. The CRD couldn't name one specific incident, name the alleged casteist managers or their co-workers, give any specifics of these casteist comments, give any location, date, time, or any details as corroborating witnesses. 
I learned that the CRD does not even have to corroborate, let alone prove their accusations in court. For they state that more than 250 Dalits have reported discrimination, bullying, and sexual harassment based on their caste in the technology sector alone in the fall of 2020. But four years since that claim, there is not a single corresponding court complaint and not a single shred of evidence. But the CRD didn't stop at just targeting Indian Americans. I learned that the CRD is the first state agency which has a transnational charter, for they even dehumanize the upper caste Indians in India. The CRD accuses upper caste Indians in India as being violent and vengeful towards the Dalits and by repeatedly abusing the official Indian crime statistics. The CRD completely disregards decades of dis disclaimers by the Ministry of Home Affairs in India that the Indian caste crime statistics are not necessarily based on caste considerations. They include mere allegations. They include crimes irrespective of their veracity or even severity. Many may not even have a caste motive. And worse, these crime statistics include crimes of the lowest caste amongst themselves. I learned that the CRD can sensationalize absolute numbers while purposely not taking into account per capita data. For example, they quote that there were two murders of Dalits every day in India in the year 2000, on average. While any murder is one too many, this translates to 0.45 Dalits murdered per 100,000. The Indian murder rate was 4.5 murders per 100,000. Let's not tell anyone that. The judge rejected this insane targeting of all Indians and Indian Americans. She also rejected each and every claim and self-acknowledged unscientific equality lab survey as anecdotal and not evidence. What did the CRD do when the judge ruled against them? They simply doubled down on their accusations in appeals court and pursued this narrative several times in multiple court forums. Finally, I learned that the CRD is not even answerable to America, for the CRD even ignores national security considerations. The CRD platformed an unscientific web survey claiming widespread caste discrimination in America, knowing fully well that there was no way to verify the American identity of the survey's respondents. They turned a blind eye when explicitly aware of the credible concerns of the survey being polluted by foreign data. They kept quiet when the survey's authors were caught red-handed when they solicited respondents outside the United States and asked them to use the Silicon Valley zip code to feign caste discrimination in America. They did not even speak up to the California legislature or the Cal State universities when caste activists influence these caste policies in the United States using alleged caste crime statistics that they knew had no semblance in American records. I respectfully ask the members of Congress to allocate a budget within the Department of Justice to investigate the California Civil Rights Department and for the greater good of America. An agency that does not represent the truth harms all Americans. Several of my colleagues at Cisco and from many other companies across California would be willing to give testimony. They must not live their lives in fear and their voices must not be suppressed. I thank you.